Toho 7 Perfect Cherry Blossom just turned 20 and to celebrate, Toho Lost World has doubled the number of Reimus based off this classic. So today we're going to take a look at their animations and find out just how faithful they are to the originals. Reimu Cherry Blossom Spirit's design is based off the demo version of Perfect Cherry Blossom. Notice the gloves, the hairstyle, and the lack of design on her ribbon. I think this is a pretty accurate recreation of the original. Her attacks are based off Reimu's first shot type, commonly known as Reimu A. Let's take a look at her spread shot. Notice the two bullet types, the non-homing bullets shot in a cone, as well as the homing amulets, which home in on the enemy. The cone feels a little too wide, but other than that, it's a pretty accurate recreation, so I'll give this a 9 out of 10. It even sounds kinda similar. Next, we have her focus shot. Similar to her spread shot, it consists of a cone of non-homing bullets as well as a bunch of homing amulets. I really like the attention to detail here. Her spread shot's cone has 4 bullets while her focus shot's only has 3, which is true to the originals. This is something I would never have noticed if weren't for this video. I'd give her focus shot a solid 9 out of 10. My only complaint is that her yin yang orbs could be a little closer. Okay, things are heating up as we move on to her spell cards. Her first card, Spirit Sign Fantasy Seal Spread, is pretty quick, so let's see how the Lost World artist reinterpret it. She's just shooting lots of bullets in all directions. Kinda terrible, honestly. If you look at the original, she shoots in 8 directions and the bullets boomerang back towards her. Looking at them side by side is kinda disappointing, especially considering how well they did for her shots. I'm gonna give this a 3 out of 10. At least the sound effects are kinda similar. Next, we have her second spell card, Spirit Sign Fantasy Seal Concentrate. As the name suggests, the bullets concentrate on the enemy instead of spreading out. This spell card will be used when you hold down the focus button, while Spirit Sign Fantasy Seal Spread will be used when you are unfocused. Let's take a look at Lost World's version. Again, she is shooting out a lot more bullets than in the original, but at least those bullets are following the right trajectory. I'm not sure why they felt the need to make the spell card so unnecessarily long, but well, that's what it is, I guess. But still, I think they capture the essence of this spell card pretty well, especially how the enemy is just covered in the blinding light. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. Next, we have her last word, Spring Beckoning Fantasy Nature. But wait a minute, there aren't any last words in Perfect Cherry Blossom. Instead, they've adapted this last word from Imperishable Night, the next Toho game. Being an enemy spell card, the bullet pattern is a lot more intricate. Let's have a look at Lost Words' take. I'm a big fan of the winter team that they gave to the bullets. The bullets follow quite a nice movement pattern, but it's not really the same as the original. Maybe there's another version of this spell card that I'm not aware of. In the original, Reimu alternates between a full circle of bullets and then an arc or part of a circle. The bullets also don't reposition themselves nearly as much as the Lost World version, only homing in a little bit before going for their final run. It doesn't look bad, but it's really not accurate to the original, so I'm just going to have to give this a 5 out of 10. The original pattern would have looked nice as well, and perhaps be less unnecessarily long. Reimu's Cherry Blossom Dream design is based off the sprite you will see in the full version of Perfect Cherry Blossom. Notice the design on her ribbon, her shorter hair, as well as the lack of gloves. She's based off Reimu's second shot type, which trades the homing amulets for forward-facing persuasion needles. I wondered if the Lost World team would notice how she had 5 bullets in her cone instead of 4. Uh, what? What happened to the cone? Okay, that's a 3 out of 10. Moving on. Next, we have her focus shot, which again consists of a cone, as well as this beam kind of looking thing that's just known as extermination. Let's see how Lost World did. 
Oh, really? Where's my cone? I just want my cone. Ah, oh, damn it. 3 out of 10. The next one's pretty cool. We have Dream Sign Evil Ceiling Circle. And yeah, I know it's not a circle. Maybe Reimu needs to take some math classes, but oh well. Let's have a look at Lost Words version. Impressive, they actually managed to turn it into a circle. I love this one, it captures the essence of the original spell card and even managed to make it circular, a play on the spell card's name. That's our first 10 out of 10. It even captures the flash of light at the end. Next, we have Reimu Spell Card 2, Dream Sign Duplex Barrier. Unlike the misnomer that is her spell card 1, this one actually involves two barriers. But how did the Lost Word guys do? Whoa, looks like we have a. Besides the obvious blazing star effects that they added, it's a pretty accurate recreation. It's just a bunch of barriers going around Reimu and they added some effects to make it look uh, nicer for the gacha game. I guess it wouldn't be much of an attack if the barriers just stood around and didn't touch the enemy. I'm tempted to give this a perfect score, but for some reason they didn't get the colors right. I guess they just decided they just liked the orange better. But anyway, this gets a solid 9 out of 10. They have added some originality without disrupting the feel of the original card. Finally, we have her last word. Again, there is no last word in Toho Yoyomu, so we are going back to Imperishable Night. Here we have another fantasy nature, but this time it is spring themed. I'd like to point out the spinning yin yang herbs around her, as well as the after image when she moves, which is true to the original. Overall, this gets a 5 out of 10, the same as Reimu A. To end off this video, I've put together a little compilation. Hope you enjoyed, and if you do, please leave a comment to let me know.